Hello everybody, hello grade 4, how are you? I hope you are fine. This is the first session in the first term in grade 4. And don't worry, this is not related what, about what we studied in grade 3, second term. Actually, it's related to what, about what we studied in grade 3, first term. Unit 1 in grade 4, first term, it's about large numbers and operation on large numbers. So we will study 100,000, million, and millions. An operation on the large numbers, that's it. So, our session for today is about 100,000. About what? 100,000. Who can remember what is the greatest five digit number? We already studied it in grade three, first term. Who can remember? The greatest five digit number is what? Is 99,999. Let's see. If I add here, 99,999. If I add one to this number, it will give me a new number. This new number is what? Let's see. Here, one plus nine equal zero. So zero and carry up one. One plus nine, 10. Zero and carry up one. One plus nine equal what? 10. Zero and carry up one. One plus nine, 10. Zero and carry up one. And so on. One plus nine equal 10. Zero and carry up one. Nothing here, so it will be one as it is. So we have a new number. This number consists of six digit number. Consists of six digits. So we have a number consists of six digits. This number called what? This number called or read as 100,000. It's what? 100,000. And this number is what? This number is the smallest six digit number. This number is what? The smallest six digit number. Why is it the smallest? Because it's the first number in the six digit numbers. So, we said, one th 100,000 is the smallest six digit number. So 100,000 is the smallest six digit number. Who can remember what is the place value of the zero unit? What about this tens? What about this hundreds? What about this thousand? And what about this? 10,000. Now we have a new place value. Now we have what? New place value. This place value called what? Yes, excellent. Called 100,000. So now we have a new place value called what? Called 100,000. What about the value of this one? This one, the value of this one what? If I have here what? Five digits. So the Value of one is what? 100,000, and I will write five zero. If here we have different digits, here for example, four, three, two, one. So I will replace all of these with zero, and the value of one will be 100,000. So the value 100,000, the place value is 100,000. That's it, okay? How I read a number consists of six digit number? If I have a number like this. Now I have a number consists of six digit. How I read a number like this? I will start from the right and I will count. One, two, three, and then I will put comma. And then I will put what? Comma. And above this comma, I will write thousand. Why? because it will help me when I read this number. That's it. So I will count one, two, three, and then I will put comma. Can I count from here? No, I will count from the right. One, two, three, and after the third digit, digit I will put comma. And above this comma, I will write thousand. Now I will read this number. This number is what? 435,215. Again, this number called what? 435,215. Okay, and when I write this number in letters, I will, as I read, as I write. Okay, that's it. Another number. How I read a number like this? Again, I will count from the right. One, two, three, then comma. Above this comma, what? Thousand. What I will do? I will read it. 731, 
thousand two hundred and five. That's it. So easy, actually. Okay. So now we know how to read a number like this. We said we have different forms of writing a number. We have how many four different forms? Actually, we have three forms. The first form called standard form. Called what? Standard form. When we have some digit like this, only some of digits called what? Standard form. The second form called expanded form. The second form called what? Expanded form. What is the meaning of expanded form? I will take each digit here and I will write the value of each digit. Here, for example, three here in what? In hundred. So the value, hundred what? Hundred thousand. So the value of three, hundred thousand. So the value equal what? Three hundred thousand. So it will be three hundred thousand. What about five? Five here in ten thousand. So five equal what? Fifty thousand. So I will write the value of five, fifty thousand. What about seven, seven in thousand place? So equal seven thousand. What about four? Four in hundred place. So it's four hundred. What about eight? Eight in tens. So eighty. What about two? Two in units equal two. So expanded for mean, I will take each digit and I will write the value of each digit. What about the third form? The third form called the word form. Word form mean I will take this number and I will write it in letters like this. For example, here, how I write number like this? We said before to write it in the word form. How I read this number? I will count one, two, three. Then I will put comma and above this comma I will write thousand. Now I can read this. It's what? 357,482. Let's see. 357,482. As I read, as I write. As I read, as I write. This is the third form and it's called what? Word form. That's it. Or I can read it as 357,482. Now we have another type of question. The first one. Here, he asked me, what is the smallest digit, the digit number is what? We already studied it. Who can remember the first number we said? The first one is the sixth digit number is what? 100,000, so 100,000. So now we need the smallest different six digit number. This is not different because we have a lot of zeros. This is the smallest digit number. I need the smallest different six digit number. Smallest difference, so I will start with one, zero, two, three, four, five. So this is the smallest different six digit number. Here. The greatest six digit number, we said before, the greatest digit is nine. So the greatest six digit nine consists of what? Consists of six nines. So it will be nine, 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 nine. Can I read this number? Yes, it's so easy. What I will do? I will count one, two, three. Then I will put comma here and thousand. It will help me. Okay, so it will be 999,999. This is the greatest six digit number. What about the greatest different? The greatest different, I will start with nine, then eight, seven, six, five, four. That's it. I will arrange the digit descending from the greatest to the smallest. So it will be nine, Eight seven six five four. That's it. So it will be what nine hundred eighty seven thousand six hundred and fifty four. That's it. Now we have another type. Write the place value of the circle digits in each of the following. Let's see the first one here. What about the place value here? We said before. This is what units tens. Hundreds, thousand. So this what? Ten thousand. So nine here. The place value. I need the place. Place value means the place which this digit lives. Place, not value. So I will write the name of this place. The name of this place is what? It's what? It's a ten. 
thousand. The next one. Okay, let's see. Here we have two. Two in which you place value. Let's see again. Units, tens, hundred, thousand. So it's what again? Ten thousand. Yes. Ten thousand. Here we have what? Zero. Zero. Don't say zero means the snow. Zero here. What is the place value of zero? Here we have units, tens, hundreds. So the place value of zero is what? Hundreds. So if he asked me about the value of zero, the value of zero anywhere equals zero. The value of zero anywhere equals zero. But here he asked me the place value. So I have to write the place of this digit. Here we have another number, 156,239. Here what? The circle digit is three. Here unit, here what? Tens. The place value of this three is what? Tens. What about five? Units, tens, hundred, thousand. So five in what? In which place? Thousand. Here, what about this nine? What, what is the place value? Count with me. Units, uh, I'm sorry, say, say with me. Units, tens, hundred, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand. So nine here in which place? In the hundred thousand place. So I will write hundred thousand. That's it. Let's see another type of question. Here, write the value of the circle digit. Now I will write the value, not the place value. Let's see the first two. Here, what about this? Four, what is the value of four? I will take this four as it is and I will write this four. Then I will look at the right side. Here, how many digit? One digit, so I will cancel it and I will replace it with zero. So four here is what? 40. The value of four here is what? 40. To check this, four here in what? Intensive place value. So it's equal 40. So I, I correct. So another one, five here. The value of five. How I answer this? I will write five as it is. Then I will count at the right side. Here, how many digit? One, two, three. So I will put three zeros. I will replace these digits with zero. So the value of five here is 5,000. Let's see the next one. Here, what about zero? We said before, the value of zero anywhere equal what? Equal zero. If you want to write zero and replace this with zero, so we, you will put two zeros. Two zeros equal three zeros equal 100 zeros. All of them mean what? Mean zero. What about the value of two? Two here in units. Do we have any digits here? No. So two, the value of two is what is two, as it is. Now, four, what about the value of four here? I will take four, we said, I will write the digit as it is. So I will write four as it is. Then I will count. How many digits here? Count with me, one, two, three, four, five. If we have digits here in the left side, don't count it. We count the right side digits, okay? Here we have five. So we will replace these five digits with five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. So the value of four here is what? 400,000. And if you check, you will find four in the 100,000 place value. So the value of four, 400,000. So that's it. So that's correct. It's correct. Let's check. What about three? So I will write three as it is. Then can I count this digit? No, I will count only at the right side digit. Here we have how many digits? One, two, three, four. So I will replace these four digits with four zeros. 
one, two, three, four. So the value of three here is 30,000. And if you check, you will find three in the tens. 10,000 place value. So it means the value of it, what is 30,000? Another type of question. Here, read the following number and write it in letters. The word form. He gave me the standard form. This is called what? Standard form. I, I need to write it in what? In letter form or word form. How I write this number? We said, as we read, as we write. As we what? As we read, as we write. How I read a number like this? We said, start from the right, then count. One, two, three, put comma. And above this comma, write thousand. Why? It helped me when, when I read this number. Now, can I read it? Yes. 452, what? Thousand. I wrote it to remember me. 452,710. That's it. So I will write it. And I start the first letter with capital. So, uh, I'm sorry, this is not seven. Four, it's four. So it's a four. Four hundred fifty two fifty two what that's it? No, we said we were both here thousand to remember me, so I will write thousand. And then I will put comma after thousand. Seven hundred and ten so seven hundred and ten. That's it. So as we read, as we write. So easy. The next one. Actually, this is what we will do. We will count one, two, three, the comma, and above this comma, we will write what? Thousand. Again, one, two, three, and comma, and above this comma, thousand. Okay, let's see the first one, 740, what thousands, don't forget thousand, so important, so seven hundred forty thousand. Then comma. 340. Here, we count one, two, three, then we put comma and above this comma thousand. Now we will start from the left. 300, what? 308. So I will write three. Hundred eight. It's what thousand. Don't forget to write thousand. Here we don't have anything. In the hundred place zero, in the tens place zero, then two. So we write and the two because we don't have anything in hundreds place or in the tens place value. So we write and and what two? That's it. So now we know how to convert, or how to, if we have a, a standard form, how to convert it to the word form. We said, as we read, as we write. That's it. So this is our lesson for today. I hope you are enjoyed. And if you have anything, please write it in a comment, okay? This is the, is the first part in our lesson, because I divide. Uh, this lesson to two parts, okay? I hope you, uh, you are enjoyed. Thank you. Bye-bye.